Aha! Hey, what is going on, crypto people? Who the heck is Steven Marriott? And why? Oh, why is he involved or getting involved in EatGate? Listen, $64 trillion question. Why are there three United States government agency, agencies involved in an ETH ICO? Can someone answer that for me? The SEC, the Department of Justice, and the FBI? Why four? It's an ICO. Or is it? <laughs> We're going to get into it. Listen, the market is just doing what the market does. We'll go over the numbers if you dare. If you dare listen to those freaking numbers, I'll share them with you. you can, if you can stomach another sideways movement, I'll share with you. Listen, listen, the crypto season is a little under weather. Therefore, I can't, I can't show the swollen face and runny eyes. But heck, I can still do a video, bam. And I'm going to do it. Holy freaking mode. Maybe I'll go over some X news as well. But listen, let's go over the Steven. Th no, let's go over the numbers and then we'll get into Steven. <laughs> we'll get into Mr. Nero, y'all. All right, so listen, let's go over these numbers. Again, I know it's painful. Data Dash, listen to me, fam. You better listen. You better listen to be tuning in the Data Dash. By the way, I couldn't remember his name before. It's Nicholas Merton. It's Nicholas Merton from Data Dash. Highly recommend you check out that channel. You want to get a different perspective for sure. Let me refresh this because right now, CoinGecko, that one, CoinGecko, is saying the total cryptocurrency market cap is at $1.11 trillion. Interesting. Kind of seems the same to me. $1.11 trillion. Did it refresh? It did. Bitcoin dominance is at 47%. It's up half percent. Bitcoin is trading at $26,753. Again. Ethereum is trading at $1,633. Again. And XRP is trading at 50 freaking cents. Again. <laughs> Listen, fam. That's the market. And the market is just doing what the freaking market does. I don't care anything about no ton, ton, ton. It's kind of associated with Telegram, but it's really it's not. Because Telegram has their own token. It's up 45%. Awesome. The market is still sideways, guys and girls. Let's go over this interesting post from Steven. Because Crypto Eddie, shout out to Crypto Eddie. I know the good old boy network won't give Crypto Eddie a shout out. Because you know. <laughs> But the crypto sees well. Crypto Eddie asked this question from Stephen. She says, Hello, Steve. Thank you for taking notice of conversations about the ETH ICO. As you said, this was a dangerous area. And you took it upon yourself to figure it out legally. You had the former SEC chair chime in. Who? Question mark. And who are the 15,000 participants? So Stephen says, Former SEC chair was Joseph Runfest who has integrity, which seems out of fashion. As to the number, I now realize one can't tell the true number of ETH ICO buyers. I know one, Simon Dixon. As it was explained by somehow, uh, by somehow whales could disguise their large positions during the ICO. Violation of terms of service against speculative buying, question mark. Hard to imagine anyone... Uh, at Ethereum didn't uh, at Ethereum doing this, and if they knew others who did who did, surely they would have told the SEC regarding concentration of ETH holdings before the Bill Hemmen law was enacted. <laughs> I might have the doc versions by the offer of the terms of service amongst countless documents, recordings, etc., all stored in a number of locations. I may have I may not have knowledge or, or items of importance given claims. I exaggerated my role, though I guess it's possible. <laughs> I got some information. I was lucky enough to talk to an important co-founder. Got a smiley face. Either way, I suppose an effective way to silence me would be to prosecute. Now, some would say this dude was like the co-founder of the theory. 
He says, either way, I suppose an effective way to silence me would to prosecute, publicly discredit, and ultimately attempt to imprison me. This is just for an, this is for an ICO. Why not just the typical enforcement letters or standard government stuff? Why try to discredit this dude and try to imprison him? Turns out this is actually what happened to me for the past four years. Until I proved the entire case was fabricated, until I proved the entire case was fabricated from the government's own documents, including the SEC, and got an almost unprecedented dismissal with prejudice. It's interesting to me that no one has heard about this. Not a peep. You know, we say on the Crypto Seizures channel all the time, those who would sacrifice their country for personal profit you know, there's an unfriendly nation or an enemy of this nation. They can just throw dollars around. Unprecedented dismissal with prejudice. He says the SEC, Department of, Just Judge, uh, Department of Justice, and the FBI's joint effort and oddly, some familiar Ripple names, amongst others. Yeah, Mark Wright, John Wright, John, uh, Jonan Wright, and John Daniels. And you know how that goes. You know how they may have gotten, how the three-letter alphabets may have got their hands on those dudes. Don't take much. Four years. No one's heard about. I've never heard about any kind of the case going on with this dude at all. When I said dangerous area, I didn't suspect so-called friendly friars, says uh, Stephen. He says traitors and treasonous. To me, crypto and the country. We've said it on the channel time and time again. Those who would sacrifice their country for personal profits. Anyone else find it coincidental that these same three government agencies are wrapped up in trying to do everything they possibly can to the last administration, the head of the last administration? At least two of the three. I keep trying to tell people they have no idea, none, none with the three out that the alphabet group can do to you and will do for, to you. None. Nada. You have, you have no idea. If you're new, it might be hard for you to sleep at night. This is the dude that helped get an ICO through. And he's realizing some stuff. He's probably been realizing it ever since the huge awakening probably was right after the action, the enforcement action was brought against Ripple. And, they were, and people were probably like, what? What do you mean? Why? Why would you do that? <laughs> Why would you bring that? And I told you guys on the channel. Look, Ripple is in the business of payments. There's a couple of projects over there uh, in the unfriendly nation, like Alibaba and Alipay. And... You think it's a coincidence that Vitalik knows Mandarin, speaking Mandarin, good buzz? Come on already. They saw an avenue. They are not our friends. They have never been our friends. They saw an avenue. In a vitality period. I mean, it's it's so obvious. And who's to say whether or not this dude Vitalik is a friend of this country or not? Who's to say? I I don't know. 
Maybe he was massively manipulated. I know Joseph Lubin's been doing it. Massively manipulating this guy. Maybe that's what it is in this case as well. But the FBI and the Department of Justice are involved in a, in a co-founder or a partner or whatever he is from an Ethereum ICO. What? This, I understand from crypto edit that this dude is going to do kind of like a tell all <laughs> at the right time. This dude is going to be doing a tell all. And I got another sixty four trillion dollar question. Why do you think that Jimmy Valley and the people over there are so quiet after this ruling? Just quiet. Barely a celebration. Just real quiet. Rumor on the street has it that Brad Garlinghouse and the people over at Ripple may not just be resting on their laurels with this quote-unquote win. There's an ugly stench to this. Again, I'll use the phrase, those who have sacrificed their country for personal profits. I find it fascinating that these three particular agencies were not publicly selected, the heads of these agencies, but privately selected. We have to be really, really careful. And you got to be willing to fight for what's good. Because this is just has a nasty nastiness to it. It's just nasty, and it makes sense to me. You, took, you take a look at the current administration. Look at the decades and decades. Do you see affluence there? Prior to getting the second in charge nod, do you see affluence there? When given the opportunity to kaching to cash in. It's just been relentless. Relentless. Got you got you got Operation Choke Point. Why four? They thought they was going to be able to get Bitcoin and Ethereum only through the door. That's what they thought. Why did they think that? Why even try such a thing? Why not the level playing ground? This monopoly thing is bigger than bonehead Lubin. It's bigger than bonehead Lubin. Bigger than that, fam. Madness. Listen, I just wanted to bring that to you. Look, I'm going to hop off here, uh, try to get rest up, get well, or get better so I can hop on tomorrow for sure. It's been a really, really cool hang. I appreciate each and every one of you. Continue to hot or strong. Continue to strengthen your resolve. And hey, by the way, if you want to level up your IQ on XRP, the XRPL, and all things uh, Ripple, I highly encourage you, mainly XRP and XRPL. Go check out Mickey B, letter B, fresh.com. Get on that site and go check out everything. You don't need a link in the description. There's no, <laughs> you don't have to click on a link in the description. Go check out my guy, Mickey B. Fresh. Level up so that you know what it is that you hold. Don't just be hoped up. Raise your level of understanding that you of what you know that you hold. Raise it up. Go check out MickeyBFresh.com. All right, guys, listen, I'm going to end this video. Well, this wraps up your XRP Ripple daily news in around zero to 10 minutes. I hope that it has been of value to, to you. If it has, do me a favor, hit that like button. If you enjoyed the Hangout, please consider subscribing to the channel. And don't forget to ring that notification bell so that you know whenever we go live or whenever we upload a video. I'm going to end this video like I do all of my videos and remind you guys with this, that old money doesn't want you to win. But that's okay, though, because you and I, we're already winning. I'll talk to you soon, guys. See you.